Hello everybody and welcome to From the Couch, David Perrell here, it's tutorial day and it's another CSS tutorial, the last one went pretty well so I thought I'd sneak in another one here and um, basically I want to show you guys how to create rounded corners uh, or content box with rounded corners, okay, um, usually or lately uh, people have been using the CSS functions in Mozilla and Safari which allow you to determine the radius, things like that. But I'm going old school today. I'm going to split an image which we can then use to um, create the rounded corners in a style sheet. Okay. Basically what we have here is the uh, a rounded box image uh, which I have spliced up just by using Firefox. Oh there you go, the lines have already been drawn. So there you go, and all, all I did was, you know, I just spliced up the corners and got cracking on uh, exporting that and put it in into my, hang a second, let's just resize that, into my images folder, okay, as row one, column one, you know, just the standard stuff that uh, uh, Fireworks exports it as, okay, but that's not important. The important part is executing this into a CSS layout, which allows us a content um, box which has dynamic lengths and heights and the corners still remain the same. Okay, with the box you see here, which I'm about to refresh and it will disappear, I can make that any height I want or width and the corners will still maintain because it's just the tiny little corners that I've um, exported and not a, a full width, you know, like a full image that runs across the bottom or the top of the, the content box. Okay. Basically, before you do anything, make sure that the the image that you're exporting has the same background color as your website background color. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. So now we're starting from scratch. So I've made a rounder box area with the background color as um, 666666, which is the same as the um, the body BG over here. So let's get into the CSS. Okay, I've already laid it out because it's quite quite a lot of stuff to type out. I'm just going to explain. What we have here is the content ID. I know last time I used a class, so this time I'm using ID. And I've also got a content box which will contain all my um, content for that uh, sort of uh, page. And then what we have, let me just resize this so I can continue to scroll down is the header for the rounded corners in the header uh, div and some content and a footer okay so let's just start with the header okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type out the HTML and then we're gonna refer back to the CSS so let's just quickly type it out so div ID container okay then we need a content box to contain everything so div class content box okay then we need our rounded corner headers so div class header okay let's close that div class content which will you know basically keep all the that boxes content let's close that as well div class header uh, footer okay you'll see when I press refresh in um, oh, let's just quickly fill up the content with some content hi peeps Welcome to From the Couch. Okay, so let's just press refresh here. I'm going to point out a few things. Okay, as you'll see, there's a square area over there and a square area over here. Okay, whereas on the right-hand side, we've got the rounded corners. Okay, let me explain what's going on here. Basically, what's happened is we've got the header and the footer. Okay, now e the header and the footer each have the background of a around a corner okay but now if you've noticed there's four corners here okay so we need to give each um, the header container and the, the footer container they they need to have both the left hand side corners and the right hand side corners okay so we give the parent container the header and the footer each of them will contain one of the images and then we're going to need a div inside of that which is going to contain the other image okay and in the styles we'll instruct it 
um, you know, which image goes where. So let's look at the header div and see what's happening there. Okay, what we have here is header. We determine the height, which is the height of this corner. Okay, overflow is hidden, just in case anything runs over it. And then we go into the background. Okay, the background color has to be the same color as your content box, whatever your box is going to be, the color of it. Okay, so mine's white. Then we need to grab the one of the top corners. Okay, so in this case, the corner has to be to the right hand side. So I've grabbed um, this corner over here in my images folder, and I've placed it in, and I've said that, that the position must be at the top and to the right. Okay, no repeat. Otherwise, it's going to repeat across the header div. Okay. From there, so that's what we have here. Okay, and so. From there, we need the left-hand side corner. Okay, so what I've done is all I do is put in here div, okay, and close div. Okay, now you're going to be wondering what's going on here. Okay, let's go back to the styles. Okay, so we've got the header which has the right-hand corner, and now we need something inside the header which needs the left-hand corner. Okay, so what I've done is I've said dot header, which is the class header, space div. I've determined its width of this div, which is inside a header, and the height. Okay. Overflow is once again hidden, and the background again is white, and the image that I've taken is the left-hand side of the corner box. Okay, and then I've said that the position of that image must be to the top and to the left. Okay, so let's go to the HTML file. We just press save here, and you'll see. There you go. On refresh, that corner's appeared. Okay, now the same theory applies for the footer. We've got the footer, which contains the bottom right corner, RC, R3, C3. Okay, and its position must be bottom right, the background position. And then the div inside the footer must have a width of 8, height of 8, which is according to, let's just go to, which is according to the spliced images, the exact sizes, and with a background of white. The image I'm using is the bottom left footer corner, and again, the position of the of the image is bottom left. Okay, so let's just go to here and insert our little div. Oopsie, sorry about that. Again, sorry about that. Okay, so now we've got the header, which contains the top right, and then a div inside, which will contain the top left corner and a footer which contains bottom right and inside that is a div which contains bottom left. Let's go here and press refresh. Refresh is officially pressed and you'll see that our corners now appear. Now the beauty about this is that it's dynamic so if I change the width of the content I'll make it 460 instead of 660 you see the corners maintained and everything stays the same size. If I make the height uh, or let's just fill it, fill up some more content. Um, welcome to no. This is a cool tutorial. We want to hear your thoughts as usual. We want to hear your thoughts. Oh my, I can't spell today. Okay, so basically the height's going to change slightly, and there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ask me. That's a damn easy way to make rounded corners. Okay, I can carry this over. Let's create another content box. Okay, as you can see, another content box. Let's just quickly make the margin of that. Oh, do you notice that? Huge error from my side. Um, 0px, and then the margin of the bottom is 20px. So then, if we go here, we've got another one. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. One of the easiest tutorials ever to create rounded corners which work in all browsers. So I hope you appreciated that. Thanks very much for watching. Um, this is David Perrell. I just taught you how to make rounded corners for your content box using images and divs. Um, I'm going to upload the source file this time. So sorry about forgetting it last time. And thank you for watching. Catch you guys next time.